Alright, what is up guys? Of course, always welcome back to another Wi-Fi Bell. And uh, going up to Scadia or Catacool, which is actually a long time follower and a really good friend. I, I believe we're in battle since Gator Age 6. And yet again, I'm bringing like my um, bit of an RU team with um, Octillery. And I actually switched out Buffalin for Chinchino, mainly because I felt that the team itself was a bit on the slow side. Without Stick Web, it's always forced to take a hit, and it's not necessarily this side that bulky. So let's see, ooh. <laughs> ah. ah, cool. Um, there are a few things standing out here. First and foremost, of course, Basimian is an absolute threat, and um, that could be really frustrating. Uh, Frostmouth is absolutely great. Um, hopefully, like my. My Colossal keeps that one at bay, um, but besides that, like I'm not in the strongest position, now am I? Um, I'm actually going to start off with Avalyn, as I believe he could lead off with uh, with his Basimian, and if so, he's going to go for a U-turn, or I can hope to give him a nasty burn with my, um, with my Colossal. But besides that, this team looks, of course, always great, very, 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 very good design. And um, hmm, let's see, let's see here. He leads off with Death Rock. That's cool. I think we get a cool leadway here. Um, the thing going against me here is that um, There's really nothing I can do besides like energy ball him. I can go for an easy quiver dance, I believe. Um, he should stealth frog and could have memento and stuff like that. He actually switches out directly to Frostmoth, maybe? Franchile? Sounds about right. That's not actually that Franchile. That's. I know that guy. <laughs> that is not the Franchile mon he intends to possess that he being. Um, Alright, go for Moonblast because actually. Um, this Pokemon is Duraldon is not that specially defensively active, so hopefully we can get some really good damage there with the Moonblast. Or if it goes to Frostmoth, I guess on ship, but I can't do anything but that. So we is clearly scarfed. This Dragon Pulse does nothing. <laughs> okay, cool. So right, Moonblast here, and we do a lot more than he did. Um but I believe Frostmoth, like I said, here comes in. I'm gonna go with Strength Sap. Um, would make no sense for me not to do that. He keeps Dragon Pulse in. Okay. Okay. So he's in a, I guess, sack environment, maybe? A bit surprised he did that. How much H or attack or H no, HP do I get back? Not as much as I wanted to. I can tell him what guys that much. I don't have a fear of my team, do I? Like, he's clear specs and lock and threat. And, um... <laughs> I clearly need to actually shot him down. Um, because, yeah. This is not great. Um, will I ever get this chance to set up again? This Dragon Pulse absolutely ruins me. Um, <laughs> but alright. Alright, franchise is gone. And now here comes the Frostmoth, basically. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I believe Frostmoth makes more sense. Or, as I said it before, Pizimian because of U-turn. Because that draw was clearly faster, even when we were dancing once. And Koba is... yeah. Yeah, but if I were him, I U-turn, because that play just makes so much sense. I'm convincing myself this, because if I am wrong, I'm getting swept by Frostmoth. But I want to give him a, my flame body. I really should have quivered that once more, I know that. Let's see, U-turn, 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 yes! Get the burn, get the burn, get the burn, that's why we have you, flame body! I don't know, but I, when I use Flame Body, that never happens. Of course not. <laughs> ah, that's stuck. Okay. Okay. Right, the seventh... The seventh bull. 
the first something with that name I just can't pull off. Um, now this guy should have Earthquake, Head Charge, Stone Edge maybe. Um, a lot of things that makes me uncomfortable. Well, I took away him, or him, him from my team, but I'm clearly not dealing with it that well. Um, I'm going to bring in Rota, mainly because I think Earthquake is his play. Uh, if he goes for Head Charge, you know, I'm clearly in position, but... Um, see, Close Combat will take those well too. However, we will not take this Head Charge that well. Let's see. His team is actually kind of slow, so I don't believe I need to go for... I'm roosting here, I want to see what his head charge does. Or if he decides to switch out, and nothing, that's fine too. As uh, Runergius, um, I just can't pull off that name. Um, <laughs> the Galarian Configuricus makes a ton of sense bringing in, and I just want to make myself kind of... Kind of healthy. Let's see, Death Rock. Um, oh, here's the thing. Depending on what type of set he is, I believe this Poltergeist hit will hurt me a whole lot. And I have nothing to really want to switch into that besides Chinchino. So I really hope he goes for the Poltergeist move and just forgets that uh, I'm a ghost or a normal type. Stealth Rocks, that's actually way worse. <laughs> kind of boils some ice, I guess, but I'm going to go for that triple kick now. Or triple axle. Yeah, I think it's my easiest play. Bullet C would be nice, but I only have the Technician. Let's see, one. Wandering Spirit, so no more Technician. Forgot about that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Two. And a third will do. Ooh, still does a lot though. <laughs> There's a wandering spirit though. Let's see, earthquake is gonna be doing damage. Oh, don't kill me! Like that was clearly a misplay. Will o wisp, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wandering spirit is one hell of a drug. Let's see, we saw earthquake. We saw. We haven't seen Earthquake with some Will O Wisp for some reason. But Will O Wisp, Stealth Rocks, most likely Earthquake, and uh, I'll lose nothing by actually keep attacking. Triple Axle, if I have like hit, still do something. But this was not, of course, what I was actively searching for. But uh, at least, at least would do damage. Like it's, it's doing all right. Let's see, Earthquake. Take me out, I beg of you. Oh, still fighting. I'm gonna wrap this up with a bullet seed, as I believe he could switch into Vaporeon. Stays in. Bullet seed will not do a whole lot. Um, because what I want to try to do here is actually go for that Strength Sap with... Um, with my Blossom. Which could be scary if you predict that one right, because I believe the Simeon kind of win here. Do you have anything to be worried about anyway? Because the way I see it, if he's really smart here, he's sensing the Simeon and I'm just kind of screwed. And if he play wrong he goes for a poltergeist move thinking that would do damage or it will but how much oh we got a lot of HP back let's see shadow claws he doesn't have the poltergeist that's good that's good how many quiver dance do I need to beat the Basimian speed we quiver up here he is absolutely set up already I think he realizes that Shadow Claw keeps doing that. Because the thing is here, like I clearly need like three of these to pull this off. 
Going for two, that might be greedy. And I think once I go for the third, I am in the clear. Bit surprised having like doing like those like really scared switch out, which is you know the switch of panic. Because that's probably where I would have been at this point. Because if it keeps staying in, I'm clearly gonna go for one more. Because I have no idea when I would speed the Basimia, but plus four should be plenty. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if I, I was our caddy, I like the first second I saw Blossom come in, I absolutely kick the ever living shit in Basimia to try to catch that defiant boost. But that would be me panicking. Absolutely, and it could have back like that could have backfired if, um, let's say, um, let's see, sensing King Cool. Yeah, because I'm clearly dumb here. I'm still in nowhere near a position where I win. Right. I'm gonna go for like a Moonblast here, hoping I do something. But Frostman actually takes these hits, and if he gets a Quiver Dance off. Um, then uh, he is so fat, like so, so fat. I really hope Moonblast does something here. I absolutely forgot about this. The icy scales are absolutely making sure that um, he bug busts. All right, so no quiver, good. <sighs> Don't believe it would take it that well as I thought it would. But we're having in a tree hit KO area. I'll be honest, I probably quiver dance here. Mainly because I want to get that extra strong head on him. Come on, Blossom. <laughs> and I have those 100% accurate special attack decreases. So there goes a the quiver dance. Like I said, I probably would have done that from the get-go, mainly because I've like with the uh, icy scales, he clearly would have just exploded in uh, uh, what do you call it in um, in special defense. So I believe we are in a position to wrap this game up now. It all believe it all depends on that Bissimian. And I won't deny it, like, this is something, like, I'm clearly messed up with Chinchino. Uh, like, Runergius, we can't say that name, the Galarian Infagricus, Confagricus, can't say that name either, um, is, um, is something else. <laughs> right, here's Koba. Or if it's Sash, like, that would have been an absolute nightmare. Right, I swear if I'm not faster, I am not faster! I am not faster. He didn't U-turn. He didn't U-turn on me. Oh, shit. I'm still not fast. Plus four. And I'm nowhere near fast enough. Oh, he is going to kick himself over that. With that knowledge, he, he could absolutely have U-turned through this. And there is a Buffalant. And the issue here with Buffalant is that if he is Sap Zipper, we can't know that. But if it's that, I can't go for a Strength Sap. So I I do the damage anyway. I'm clearly not going to take that risk. And I get myself knocked out, of course, but it will be worth it. That's Assault Vest. That is absolutely Assault Vest. Body Slam. Oof. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I couldn't risk that. So, Gaius is the name of the game. <laughs> Let's see, we got Runergus, we got Vaporeon left. I'm kinda, I'm kinda happy with how, um, how Blossom did, but I really, I couldn't, I couldn't risk any of these. The sense in Death Rock makes sense. Probably thinking I am, um, Actually, this kind of works in his favor. I'm clearly forced to switch out after this. So, knock off. And, um, 
wandering spirits can make sure that I have no dynamic punches that will ever hit anybody. <laughs> then again, I could give my wandering spirits to Vaporeon, but now he knows he can skull burn me with Vaporeon, so that's not a good thing. That's actually kind of scary now I think about it. That's actually kind of bad. Um, right, sending in my sex toy. Let's do this. <laughs> because I can acid spray you. Toxic. Oh, you little. Why would you do that? I was convinced he would scald me. Right, acid spray, and I think maybe Buffalo comes in. Those were scalds, that's good. That's all good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So we follow that up with an energy ball, maybe. Ah, so protect. Is it toxic? Skull protect. Most likely wish. Hmm. He really can't stall me through this. That's actually kind of bad. Bad sex toy. Gonna acid spray here and um, get the buffs on the switch in. Actually, wishes. Cool. Harshly fell. Right, minus four. Surely there is nothing he wants to take from here. So I'm sending in Rotor. No, he actually switches out. Damn it. I got this way wrong too. Um, they had Body Slam, Close Combat. I got over Sticky Web. Basically, made sure that Porn is slower than me. Body Slam does. It does it right. Like, it's not overwhelming, but it does alright. I can't sack that one, so we're sending him Colossal here to die. Because I don't believe he can do anything versus anything here anyway. Flame body, flame body, flame body! That's a contact move. That is a contact move. I get paralyzed, but yes. Yes. That's why we do this. That's why we do this. All right, flamethrower. I should have rock blasted. I'm clearly close combat. Cool. That's actually not a knockout. That's actually kind of unfortunate for him. If I connect that hit, it is. Oh, but no, but no, I'm clearly crippled. All right, I'm gonna um, actually put a lot of trust into Majomp. Because I can take another one of these. Possibly. And uh, Rock Blast, there we go, nice. That does all right. Two times, that's, that's actually kind of bothering. We're not have we don't have much time left. Two minutes until the battle ends. Right, cool, nice. And he clearly has close combat to beat me, so it makes sense for him of doing that. And at minus four, I really don't want to risk it too much. 
but it looks like we're gonna have a game where I'm not able to uh, I actually need to do the Vicky Vault, don't I? There is just no way I can wrap the game up if I don't throw in Vicky Vault. Right, Sin Headbutt, weaker at least than uh, Body Slam, but could get flinched. Absolutely gets the flinch. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep Sin Headbutting. Don't get the flinch this time. There we go. Thunderbolt, please kill. Right, 60 seconds left. It's gonna 20 minutes is clearly not enough against competent players. It just it just isn't. But um, looking back at this game, Basimion clearly could have done a lot more than it of doing. And that's that kinda bothers me because I know had um, had he not let me set up like that, I probably would have been put in a position where I probably wouldn't have won, actually, because... Oh, look at that. Oh, did I get the burn? I was like, yeah, that, that looks like my luck. <laughs> but right, that's GG Caddy. Like I said here, had he knew about Basimium being out still able to speed up, would have, would have had a lot different game, for sure. And um, I think he's kicking himself over that. Um, how viable would a Machamp been if that would have happened? I don't know. Stickweb still needed to get up. And that's what, if it was a Scar set, it would have meant that he would have been in a plus two situation with his uh, uh, with Basimian. So it would have been very high risk. Um, as that would probably in a close combat would have absolutely defeat a Machamp. So through and through, I think, had... Um, have Caddy saw that opportunity and risked that position a little bit, he probably would have won because I don't believe I you know pushed back by Simeon all that well. And um, I can luck through this one. I, I really won't say anything but that as my best play versus that Basimian was getting it burned with Flame Body with clearly only kicked in versus the Buffalant. So that's very present for you. But yeah, anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this Ori game. Finally, some Ori matches. My team clearly not that competent, and as you guys saw, it's, it's probably a bit on the slow side, so probably even with Chinchino, poor, poor Chinchino, by the way, um, but even with that, I just couldn't keep up properly. Uh, <laughs> so, to my opponent, GG, well done, Caddy, and for everybody who's watching, thank you for doing so, have a great day, everyone.